In this video, we will try to solve a problem on optimization of three variables that was asked by a person on Telegram channel of Econ Maths. The question is like this. If u is equal to f of x, y, z is equal to minus x cube plus 3x, z plus 2y minus y square minus 3z square, find maximum or minimum values. We have to optimize this very function. Okay, this is an unconstrained, unconstrained optimization problem. Okay, so how do we solve this? Simple thing, first we take the partial derivative of this multivariate function with respect to x, y, z and set them equal to zeros and solve them simultaneously, okay, to get the critical point. So, first we need to find out the critical points, okay, critical points. Okay, how do we find the critical, uh, critical points? We take the partial derivative with respect to x of this multivariate function and set it equal to zero so the derivative of minus x cube is minus 3x square so we are partially differentiating first with respect to x derivative of x is 1 so we are left with plus 3z okay then we don't have any x variable so we set it equal to zero similarly f of f subscript y means partially differentiating this with respect to y so we don't have y here here we have here y so i can write here 2 the derivative of y is 1 so we are left with 2 minus derivative of y square is 2y so we are left with 2y and we have no y here so set it equal to 0 similarly f of f subscript z partial differentiation of this multivariate function with respect to z will give us uh, so we have here z the derivative of z is 1 so we are left with 3x derivative of z square is 2z so 2 into 3 is minus 6 minus 6 is z and we set it equal to 0 okay now we need to find out the critical points we solve them uh, simultaneously here we can simply find out the value of y because 2y is equal to 2 that means y is equal to 2 upon 2 so we will get here y is equal to 1 so we got one critical point here y is equal to 1 okay now to find the value of x and z so here if we can observe can we make any of the coefficients of x or z same in both the equations yes if i multiply this equation first equation with respect to 2 so this will become 2 3 z 6 z so we have here minus 6 z this will get cancelled so i rewrite this multiplying this equation with respect to uh, sorry multiplying this equation with 2 so we are left with minus 6 x square uh, 2 3 are 6 we have 6 z okay and set it equal to 0 let us say this is equation first this is equation second now subtracting these two equations or adding these two equations so we have 3x 3x minus 6x square similarly we have minus 6z plus 6z will get cancelled so this is equal to 0 or uh, 3x is equal to 6x square or we can cancel 1x on both sides we are left with here x three ones are three twos are so we get x is equal to one upon two so this is second critical point now to find third critical point just plug x is equal to one upon two in this equation first equation so we have three the value of x is one upon two uh, minus six z is equal to zero which gives us a six z is equal to three upon two or z is equal to 3 upon 2 it will get multiplied uh, sorry reciprocated here so 3 ones are 3 twos are as draw z draw is barabar 1 upon 4 so we got the three critical points that means uh, x is equal to 1 upon 2 y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1 upon 4 okay so First step in finding the maximum or minimum is just taking partial derivative of our multivariate function with respect to x, y, and z, solving them simultaneously by setting these three equations equal to zero. We got the three critical points. Now to check whether we have the maximum or minimum value, for that we need to take the second order partial derivatives of this multivariate function with respect to x, y, and z, obviously okay and we form a matrix what we call the hessian matrix let us say h bar denotes our hessian matrix which is composed of the second order 
partial derivatives of our uh, the multivariate function okay so how do we write them we write f subscript x x that means partially differentiating this equation with respect to x again okay then we have f of x y f of let me write it here uh, f of x z similarly we have f of y x f y y f y z f z x f z y f z z okay so to check the maximum or minimum we for, we form a matrix that is composed of second order partials of this multivariate function and the direct partials are on the principal diagonal that means f x x f y y f z z these are the direct partials and other are the cross partials okay this Hessian matrix has an order the order is similar as we have in case of matrices like we write a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 likewise uh, we have an order in writing the elements in the matrices similarly we have this very order in writing the second order partials okay so this order is being copied here we cannot write them in any random order so first we write f of x x f of x y f x z so this order really if we have x is equal to 1 in place of uh, x if i write 1 if in place of y i write 2 in place of z i write 3 so we will get this very stuff here okay now what we need to do go ahead and let me here so what is our what is our f x x that means partially differentiating this very function again with respect to x and evaluating this at the critical point okay so what are our critical point is 1 upon 2 y and z okay if i take partial derivative again with respect to x so 2 3 are 6 we are left with minus 6 x okay and we evaluate this at the critical points what are our critical points x is equal to 1 upon 2 y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1 upon 4 since we have only here x so i can give this value here that means this will become minus 6 into 1 upon 2 which comes out to be minus 3 okay so we take partial derivative with respect to x and evaluate at the critical point so we got here minus 6x the value of x was 1 upon 2 so we got minus 3 okay similarly we have f x y so again partially differentiating this function with respect to y so since we have no y here so we are left with zero and we don't need here to evaluate at the critical points because we have no choice variable here okay and similarly f x z so again partially differentiating with respect to z so derivative of z is one so this will become zero because we are partially differentiating this time with respect to z so we will get here three okay similarly we have f of then we have f of y x okay let me write here y x so differentiating this function with respect to x no x is involved so derivative is zero okay similarly we have f of y y y y so y y so derivative of y is 1 so we are left with minus 2 so let me write here other then we have f y z that means again partially differentiating with respect to z no z is involved so we this is 0 similarly f of f z x z x that means differentiating with respect to x this very function so we are left with 3 i hope i am making myself clear then we have f of z y so again we don't have any y here so derivative will be zero and again we have f of z z so derivative of z is one so we are left with minus six okay now what we need to do we just plug these values here that means our h bar which is our hishon matrix will be composed 
of these very elements so f of x x comes out to be minus 3 so here we have minus 3 then x y 0 x z 3 okay then we have f of y x 0 here we have 0 f of cash um, yet go mistake shambles so this is this is f of y x why do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i forgot to write y x okay so we have y x had i written no i didn't write here y that is f of y x f y x that means partially differentiating with respect to x so it is zero here okay so i have written here zero now f of y y we have minus two f of y z y z is zero f of z x z x z x is three z y is zero z z is minus six okay so we got this very Hishon matrix. Now we can check the whether this multivariate function is at minimum or maximum and we can calculate the obvious value. Okay. So what are the conditions? Simple conditions are if if our h1 and I will tell you what is our if h1 is greater than 0 h2 that means determinant is greater than 0 and h3 h3 is equal to this whole h determinant of this whole h if it is also greater than 0 okay if all these are greater than 0 then we say the matrix is, is what we call positive definite okay positive definite and if we have this positive definite we say positive definite satisfies the condition for minimum okay so it satisfies the condition for condition for minimum okay simple thing if our all these h1 h2 h3 are greater than zero we say this is positive definite and it satisfies the condition for minimum but if these change the signs from positive to negative okay so if our if h1 is let us say it is less than zero h2 is greater than zero h3 which is our h here this whole h if it is less than zero okay if these uh, the determinants change sign alternatively first we have um, less than zero then greater than zero then less than zero then again greater than zero we say it is negative definite okay negative definite and negative definite satisfies the condition for max maximum okay condition for maximum now let's define what are our h1 h2 and h3 okay this so let me write it here so h1 is composed of the first principal minor this very thing this first element denotes our h1 which is here minus 3 okay what is our h2 you go as h2 h2 is composed of these four elements these four uh, these four elements come are called second principal minor that is minus 3 0 0 minus 2 okay and what is our h3 h3 is this whole uh, whole determinant okay here we can see 
the determinant of the single element is minus 3 which is less than 0 okay what is the determinant of this second principle minor 3 3 is are 9 so this is positive here so this is 9 minus 0 uh, so multiplying these two elements and then subtracting by you know how do we do this so this comes out to be 9 which is greater than 0 and our h3 is this whole element this whole uh, let me write it here so that you don't get confused so this is the determinant of this minus 3 0 3 0 minus 2 0 3 0 oh, minus 6 what is the determinant of this very matrix let us see here so first we write minus 3 deleting this row and this column and taking determinant of the remaining element that is minus uh, 2 into 6 is 12 minus into minus is plus so we get 12 uh, minus 0 obviously so we are left with only this 12 so multiplying this element okay so then we have minus 0 okay and deleting this row and this column and taking de determinant of the remaining elements okay so this is here as 0 into 6 is 0 3 into 0 is also 0 then we have plus 3 deleting uh, this row this column and taking determinant of the remaining element so we have uh, 0 okay then we have uh, 3 into minus 2 this is minus 6 okay so what will we get here we will get something like this so let me write here 3 into 12 is minus 36 okay so this whole stuff becomes 0 I could have written it here but I am just trying to um, explain here because 0 times this determinant would have become 0 then we have 3 6 is are 18 minus 18 and this comes out to be over so the minus 54 which is less than 0 okay so h3 came out to be is equal to minus 54 which is less than 0 here you can see our h1 h2 h3 are changing their signs alternatively okay first we have positive then we have negative then we have positive okay so when h1 h2 and h3 change their signs alternatively we say it is a negative definite hessian matrix and it satisfies the condition for maximum for this very function this for this very uh, um, multivariate function so it will be uh, at what we call the relative maximum okay and what is our maximum value so this multivariate function is at minimum okay let me write it here we have minimum okay and what is the minimum value here we didn't got the maximum if we have the positive values of h1 h2 h3 at that time we would have the case of max uh, what we call the minimum but here we got the value for maximum sorry for this slip of tongue so we got maximum here okay and what is the maximum value so maximum value can be found uh, simply just plug these critical values in the optimal uh, this multivariate function so let me rub this out and what is the maximum value so our maximum value will be equal to so we have minus x cube so in place of x we have 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 cube uh, plus 3 the value of x is 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 value of z is 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 then we have plus 2 the value of y is 1 so 2 into y is 1 minus y is 1 square okay then we have minus 3 the value of z is 1 upon 4 square okay so this is 2 to the 4 to the 8 this is minus 1 upon 8 uh, plus uh, 3 2 4 are 8 uh, plus 2 minus 1 uh, minus 3 4 4 are 16 so I can write it like this so 
थैंक यू बो सो हियर वी हैव त्रे अक्त जो वी हैव टू अपान एट दोन अक्त अक् प्लस वन माइनस थ्री अपान सिक्सटीन सो दिस विल बी कम सो वी हैव हियर टू अपान एट माइनस थ्री अपान सिक्सटीन प्लस वन सो मेकिंग डिनोमिनेटर सेम मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस विद टू इट गो ये सतन ये बने टू टू जार फोर सो वी हैव फोर अपान सिक्सटीन माइनस थ्री अपान सिक्सटीन प्लस वन सो चोर ने त्रे तो अख वन अपान सिक्सटीन माइनस वन एक बिलखान सबक लिखा मिनट अख मिनट अख मिनट जी सो हियर वी हैव वन अपान सिक्सटी माइनस वन दिस इज माई लिटल प्रिंसेस हियर सो शरान अख पंद अख मिनट अख मिनट वी हैव फिफ्टीन अपान सिक्सटीन वी गॉट दिस सो वी गॉट द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एज फिफ्टीन अपान सिक्सटीन आई होप आई मेक माई सेल्फ क्लियर इन दिस वीडियो थैंक यू